Hey everybody, it's Illegal Lifty, and today let's brew our El Salvador Finca Santa Rosa Wash Process Pacamara. This is another wash process offering from Finca Santa Rosa, um, my favorite farm in El Salvador, where Raul Rivera produces some outstanding Pacamara coffee. Uh, this is our wash process coffee. It's gonna be really crisp, and it wants to drain pretty quickly. So uh, today, I've got our Hario V60 O2. We're gonna be brewing with 15 grams of El Salvador, ground medium fine. This was 10 on my Barraza Encore. This will be um, about a one on your fellow Ode, and this will be about um, 19 clicks on your Commandante C40. I've got a spoon to help with pre-wetting my filter. I've got a small stir stick. I'm using a borosilicate glass stir stick. Just something gentle. You could even just use the backside of that spoon. Make sure you've got your mug, gram scale with timer, and let's get going. Remember, let's fold on the perforations of our V60 filters. Place that straight into your brewer. Use that spoon and this is going to prop it up and keep it from falling and filling in those um, air channels in your brewer. Let's wet this filter. Just enough to where you start feeling hot on the walls of this brewer. There we go. 15 grams of coffee. We'll be using 250 grams of 205 degree water. Uh, this is a 16.6 .6 to one ratio. Let's dose that coffee straight in the middle. Shake it flat. Tear your scale, get your stopwatch ready to go. Get your stir stick out and let's start. So spend a little bit more time here in the middle for that bloom. We're gonna bloom 50 grams of water. See those bubbles rising up, get those a poke, get all the air packets out of here, creating an even channel, even flow for this next pour. That 30 seconds, I'm gonna pour heavy, tight spirals here in the middle, up to 150 grams. Punch it there in the middle, tight circles, I'm agitating there in the middle, creating a fast flow there to 150 total. Building that water level, giving ourselves an even flow. And then at about um, a minute and 10, minute 15, I'm gonna pour my last 100 grams of water. See so here at 110, I'm gonna finish this off. Drop there in the middle. It's a steady flow rate, so I'm not gonna spiral on this one because this pulse is gonna cover up all those grounds again. There, 250. If we grind too coarse and we just let this drain really, really quick, we're gonna get a pretty weak cup. Um, it's gonna taste a little bit like watery tea um, that you kind of waved grapes over. So I guess like watery tea LaCroix, or watery grape LaCroix. Um, for grind too fine, and this stalls, really starts to slow down into these like really slow drips. Um, we're gonna extract too much out of this coffee. We're gonna get this really bitter tannic experience in here that covers up our sweet fruit notes. Um, and we're gonna miss this nice fruit acidity and sweetness. And instead we're gonna get this um, that bitter tannins um, and just like grape cough syrup, it's not gonna be very pleasant. Um, usually this coffee is really malic, we taste apples, uh, but this offering is a little bit different. Uh, we're gonna get this really uh, long lasting brown sugar sweetness like dates. We're gonna get Concord grape, so this kind of floral rich grape flavor, sweet tea. and black currant. So, 
complex, but think long lasting sweetness and really nice texture even in the V60. This should drain at about two minutes and 45 seconds. Good. Serve. And enjoy.